In today's episode, we'll be removing a coolant fan motor. In this case, we have a twin setup that sits right in front of the radiator here. And I'll show you how to remove these fans. Also, how to test them while it's on the bench and reinstall everything. Now before we begin, of course, we need to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. So to start off, we're going to remove this plastic shroud here, this plastic air dam. First you have a 10 millimeter bolt right here that we need to remove, and then you have a couple of clips, and then this sucker just comes right out. Now before you remove this air dam or this air induct, just make sure there are no sensors still attached. Now in this case, if you look way back here, right there, there's an air uh, intake sensor right there. So you need to remove that sucker. Okay. There you go. Just so you guys have a better view, I'm going to remove this part of the upper radiator hose going to the radiator. Sometimes you don't have to do this. You can actually get the uh, cooling fans out without doing so. But in this case, just so you have a better view, we'll go ahead and disconnect it. Now, antifreeze may come out, so just have a drain pan ready to catch the antifreeze. Now because this is a twin fan setup, you have two harness connectors. So in this case, we just need to disconnect both of them here. There's a little tab here, you just press down with your thumb and remove the harness. It can be a little tough sometimes, but always pull or push from the body, never from the wires. And you also have a clip right here that goes into the housing. Just remove that out of the way. You have another one right here. Place it to the side. Now if you follow the line coming from the radiator to the overflow tank, you just need to remove it from the housing, like so. So now it's free and clear. Now these happen to be 10 millimeter. And now before we remove the housing, off of the radiator right there there's a clip that holds on a hose so just go ahead and just feel for it okay then just slowly pull up just make sure you don't snag on anything here And there you go. So of course here we have our twin fans and if you're curious on how to test these out of the vehicle I'll include a link right now just click on it uh, a separate window will open and I'll show you how you can just quickly uh, test these out of the vehicle. Now before we remove the motor from the housing I'm just going to remove the shroud fan and there's a little nut this happens to be an eight millimeter nut on top I'm just going to spray a little bit of WD-40 Remove the nut. And there you go. Now if you take a look at this fan, it has a flat end. So there's only one way of this fan to be reattached to the motor. So that's a really nice feature. And then of course we have three bolts here. These are eight millimeter as well. And then just carefully I'm going to flip over the fan shroud here. Oh. You have a little cover, just remove that. And what you want to do is just loosen up this wire. Just be careful because you don't want to nick anything. 
Okay, so this wire was in this housing right here. You move it like that. This fan comes right out, like so. And then the last thing you need to remove is this harness connector right here. And this just slides right off of the housing. I'm going to leave it on just because this motor is good. I'm just shooting this video as a how-to. But as you can see, the harness slides right off. And then the entire motor assembly, oh, the entire motor assembly is easily removed. So once you have your new motor, just go ahead. We're going to reinstall everything and we'll be in good shape. And of course, when you reinstall this, just make sure you don't snag anything, just like on the way out. Don't have to rush it, just be slow and smooth with it. And don't make these too tight just because these are plastic tabs. And then of course don't forget we have to reinstall this guy down here. There you go. And then we have our wire harness. We have one guy down here. And then we have another guy. Don't forget to put in these clips. Again, you have these clips on the end of the wire here. And one goes here. Another one goes right there. And of course, make our connection here, like so. Double check everything. We have our two connectors, the hose on the bottom. Everything is mounted up on top and the bottom. Okay. And then just grab the upper radiator hose. Reinsert it like so. And then of course, your hose clamp. And when it comes to these hose clamps, they don't have to be extraordinarily tight. Good snug, and that's it. Of course you'll check for leaks. I'm just going to reinstall a little bit of antifreeze that I lost. And if you are curious, this is a pre-mixed blend. 50-50 water and antifreeze. And then of course as a last step, we just need to reinstall our air piece. Now again, don't forget on this vehicle, we have to reattach this sensor. Okay, like so. Then of course, don't forget your two plastic tabs. If these ever break, you can always grab extra ones from your local auto part supplier. And then of course, don't forget you have a sensor mounted on top. And that's it, once you bolt this down, you'll be in good shape.